Welcome back to the Affordable Housing Centers of Pennsylvania. Today is March 17th, 2017. Happy pa St. Patrick's Day to everyone. Today's video blog, we're gonna talk about the aspects of a reverse mortgage and what it is, who is eligible, why you should just consider getting one, if, and what are the alternatives because a reverse mortgage is not the best thing for every, um, for everyone. So a reverse mortgage is a loan that you have that's against the property instead of paying it back over the um, lifetime of a loan of like a 15 year loan or a 30 year loan. It just sits on the property until the owner of the property um, passes away or um, abandons the property. Um, so they're only el eligible for those that are above the eight, 62 years or older. And they, they have enough equity in the property that can support um, ha taking out a reverse mortgage. What um, they don't tell you in, the, um, in those flashy commercials that you see every day about reverse mortgage is the fact that it's a very expensive loan program. Um, there are a lot of insurance fees and other uh, fees associated with obtaining a re reverse mortgage. And uh, that is something that you need to be aware of because you're basically draining your equity in the property that is going to be that you were probably leaving considering leaving behind for your heirs that are is no longer not that's no longer available. One th in Philadelphia, we are experiencing a lot of cases where people are that have a reverse mortgage are going through foreclosure. The reason that a reverse mortgage company can foreclose on your property is either because you did not pay the real estate taxes, the homeowner's insurance, or you failed to maintain the property. Um, and we've actually had one client that was at risk of foreclosure with the reverse mortgage company because the fact that unless certain repairs were made to the property to make sure it um, made, withheld, I guess, the investment uh, requirement. Before, there are various alternatives that you can be able to explore before you decide to get a reverse mortgage. I would say highly recommend if you're definitely anticipating leaving behind your asset um, or this house to your heirs as far as an, um, for an inheritance and have thoughts of getting a reverse mortgage, you need to talk to the heirs. Uh, you need to talk to your um, immediate children to, um, to explain to them this is um, your desire. At the same time, you also need want to explore various options as far as make sure that the house meets the management standards of living that you can be able to enjoy during your final years. So if there are repairs that you need to um, have be done to the property, instead of getting a reverse mortgage, you may want to look at some weatherization programs if you are income eligible, or ask your um, the heirs to help in terms of making those, um, paying for the cost of those repairs that can maybe increase the value, but then not, have, not force you to um, take out, to lose some of that value of the property. Uh, so you want to be, uh, so you want to find those alternatives. You want to ask questions and not um, be uh, so set on getting a mortgage um, that could um, hurt you in the long run and um, ch challenge your, the fact of your place of residence. So I want to thank you for joining us in this video blog, and we hope to see you on other video blogs in the future. Thank you.